What's up guys, Caleb here with another installment of Reality Check and today we are talking about the glorious Model Zero Honeycomb Gaming Mouse. Huge shout out to our boys over at Eve Tech who sent this our way for review. They're the only people selling it in the country and it's going for super cheap and it's super dang. So go check it out on their website, evetech.co.za. Now I've seen a lot of hype about this thing online since it came out. Everyone's kind of talking about it and it seems really cool. I was really interested from the moment that I saw it. Plenty of brands have been doing plenty of different things in the world of gaming mouses. I mean, you know, we get those transformer things, but this was quite intriguing because I'd never really seen anything like it. So let's talk about it in a little bit more detail. In the matter of specs, the Model Zero is... The Model Zero is rocking a PixArt 3360 sensor, which is well known in the gaming community as being very dank. It also has a DPI of 400 to 12,000, which is plenty, and it's got a polling rate of 1,000 hertz, as well as a liftoff distance of 0.7 millimeters. So from a technical perspective, it's really good. However, the main eye-catching feature of this bad boy is its honeycomb body design. Now, at a first glance, you might think it looks a bit frail and cheap and hollow, but as soon as I got my hand on that thing, dude, I was really surprised at just how sturdy and solid it felt. It didn't feel like it was gonna snap or crack or anything. Pop, I just had to say it because I said snap and crack. The whole reason for the design of this mouse and also kind of its whole value proposition as a gaming mouse is that it's a featherweight design. So this comes in at a shockingly low 67 grams, 68 grams if you want the glossy version. I found it very interesting that just the gloss adds a whole gram to the weight. And that makes it the second lightest gaming mouse available on the market. Second only to the final mouse 58, which comes in at 58 grams. But the Glorious Model Zero is still the lightest RGB gaming mouse currently on the market. Now you might think that the honeycomb design would feel weird on your palm when you're playing, but unless you actively try and like rub your hand against it, I promise you won't even notice it, bro. Now the one advantage that it does offer outside of just being incredibly light is that it allows airflow underneath and inside the mouse so that it hits your hand a little bit and you don't get too sweaty when you're playing, bro, which is a nice addition. Personally, I found the shape of the mouse to be quite comfortable, but due to the nature of my job, I haven't really settled in on one mouse mouse design that I prefer. So when compared to my colleagues who are a lot more set in their ways, they mentioned that they weren't crazy about it. This is largely due to the fact that it has an ambidextrous design, even though there's not ambidextrous buttons, they're only located on the left hand side, meaning that the right hand side of the mouse is also concave instead of convex. So there's not a real nice rest there for your fingers. And that is one point I can kind of agree with. The Model Zero has two buttons programmed to backwards and forwards on the left hand side, as well as a DPI switch on top. But these can be pretty much programmed to anything you want if you're willing to use the software that they offer. A couple of cool additions with the Glorious Model Zero is a DPI indicator LED on the bottom of the mouse, which some might find unnecessary, but I still think is cool to have. And then also, in their own words, their shoelace wire. It makes it feel like there's not really a wire there. It's very unhindered. It doesn't really restrict your glide at all, essentially making the mouse feel wireless. And it very much is like a shoelace. Now this mouse isn't going to automatically make you a better gamer, in fact it might not even be for everyone just because it's so light. But what I think it does do is takes any other factors out of the equation except for your hand placement, your DPI and your mouse pad so that the accuracy of your shots is entirely left up to you and not taking other factors like resistance and weight into consideration. Now another awesome thing about this mouse is that it's literally like 800 bucks which includes a free delivery when you purchase it from EveTech so that's pretty dank. And if you're looking for a new gaming mouse and you're not sure what kind of realm you want to step into I highly recommend you give this a try because I've only been using it for about a week now and I can already feel myself drifting towards the light kind of featherweight gaming mouse area just it's it's awesome anyways guys that pretty much wraps it up for this installment of reality check if you want to purchase the glorious model zero mouse head over to eTech's website evetech.co.za it's the only place you can get it in South Africa and they include free shipping as well so that's pretty dank. Don't forget to hit like if you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe if you want to see more of this not so hairy face anymore. I wonder if any of you noticed at the beginning of the video and I'll catch you guys next time for another installment of Reality Check. Peace!